Hello students, how are you? Today I welcome you in the another session of Business Studies Class Level. Today we are going to study a topic from Chapter 3 that is Forms of Organization. Basically three forms of organizations are there. One is departmental undertaking. The second one is statutory corporation and the third one is government company. So today we are going to learn what is all about. So first is departmental undertaking. By the name itself it is clear departmental undertaking means it is the undertaking of government. Departmental undertaking comes under government. You are getting point? Everything is monitored and controlled by the government. Okay, it means it comes under a certain ministry and the certain minister is going to handle the business. For example, railways. Railways is handled by the railway minister. Education department that is maintained by the, managed by the railway minister. Like this. You are getting point? So every departmental undertaking is governed and monitored by its consent minister. It means the total control lays in the hand of government. That is called departmental undertaking. Okay. So what is the speciality of this departmental undertaking? It is one of the oldest form of organization found in India and funding usually they get from government. Whatever the fund required, they get funding from government. Okay. And whoever working in this department, we call them as a government servant. Okay. Next form of organization is statutory corporation. Statutory corporation is formed by fulfilling a special resolution act in the parliament. Okay. When anything is unanimously decided and helps to create a corporation, that kind of corporation is known as statutory corporation. Under this, we can take the example of State Bank of India. This State Bank of India is formed with the help of Parliament. A special resolution is passed in the par par Parliament and after obtaining permission, this corporation exists. And what is the speciality about this um, statutory corporation? The one thing is this corporation is owned and controlled by the state government. Owned and controlled by the state government. And they are independent financed. Independently financed. Whatever the fund required, they have to finance by their own and they are not getting any support from the government regarding finance and whoever working in this organization they are not the government servant they have to obey the rules and regulation of their own corporation they are not bound to obey the government rules as they are not getting salary from the government department and the third category of department is government uh, company government company okay when any company is formed by fulfilling the company's act by fulfilling the company act in older days 1956 now 2013 that company is known as government company okay you're getting point and the speciality of this government company is that 51% of the total share has to be holded by the government. If the government holds 51, means more than 50% share of any company holded by the government, that company is basically known as government company and the, serv and the employees, those who are working in this uh, company, we call them as a government servant because they are going to get a salary from the government. Okay, and they have to obey the rules and regulations of the government. Whatever the rules 
they have to obey all those rules from time to time. So in this short video, we learned what is all about departmental undertaking, statutory cooperation and the government company. Now you are in a position, I hope that you can differentiate this form of organization. Thank you. Uh, see you in next video session.